Hey farmies. Um, today I want to talk to you about a beta blocker that's kind of unique. It stands out from all the LOLs in a way that is not very funny. It's a non-selective beta blocker. So usually we said that beta blockers work against beta 1 receptors, right? One heart, two lungs. So with this medication, for Pranolol, we, um, it's not selective to just beta 1. It works on beta 1 and beta 2. So uh, that gives us some kind of unique side effects. Um, so let's look at that. Let's look at our unique side effects. So we've got our receptors, right? So here's our heart. We'll put our heart right here. These are all of our B1 receptors, right? Beta 1. And beta 2 receptors were in the lungs. So here we'll put all of our beta 2 receptors all in our bronchioles. So these are our beta 2s. So this medication is non-selective. My handwriting's terrible tonight. All right, so it's non-selective, meaning it looks at both beta 1 and beta 2. So the side effect that we can get with this medication is that it can cause bronchial constriction. So we always say with our side effects, we don't want to give them to somebody who already has the problem. So who already has bronchial constriction? Our patients with asthma. So. If you have a patient who has asthma, this is not the beta blocker for them um, because it goes with beta 1 and beta 2. It will cause bronchial constriction. And if you already have asthma and we constrict your bronchioles even further, um, we're going to leave you with a very severe breathing problem. So propranolol, um, it is given for hypertension. It's given for angina. Um, it's given for MI and other arrhythmias. However, we do not want to give it if the patient has asthma. So it does all the same things the other beta blockers did, right? It decreases BP. It um, decreases heart rate. Uh, the problem is that it also increases bronchial constriction. Oh, sorry, I was writing. Decreases BP, decreases heart rate. However, it increases bronchial constriction. Um, so that would be one of the key side effects. You're going to have the same other side effects. You're going to have um, fatigue. Um, you're going to have hypotension. Um, you might have bradycardia. So we could take these too far, right? Too much decrease in blood pressure is hypotension. Too much decrease in heart rate, bradycardia. Um, so um, we are also going to have, of course, a decrease in cardiac output because we're decreasing the things that go into cardiac output. Um, so in that sense, it's just like the other beta blockers. The difference is that it hits these beta-2 receptors. Bam. And we have bronchial constriction. All right, there you have it, propranolol.